Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a DVD drive. This is an Asus model. It's an internal DVD drive for um, a PC. Now, usually, now people are not using these anymore. I don't use one in my computer. But, you know, I still want to take it apart so you guys can see what it looks like, what's inside. And still for those who still use them, you know, just see how to take them apart. Alright, now let's go. And as always, the favorite Phillips head screws that they all love so much. I only see four, so start with the first one here. third one here and to the fourth one now when I see only four screws like this I know it's not going to be easy to take apart because usually when I see a limited screws is like something there's always something that holds you back now let's see no, no movement oh look here do not remove the seal. Voids your warranty. Eh, I don't care. Alright, let me get... I'll just use my screwdriver. Break the seal right there. Oops, warranty's gone. Alright. There, there we go. There we go. Panel came right off. This is the back panel here. And now you can see inside the unit now. And this was the rails. It has little pins, metal pins that move back and forth on the rails here. And let me get this little board here. motors holding. There's a little motor right here with a connection holding the board down. Let me see if I can get this here without destroying it. There we go. And I just pulled the connector right out. And now you guys can see all the chips and all the made ingredients. Transistors everywhere. Capacitors everywhere here. Then this is the main um, chip here with all the information. Control chip. And another form of an integrated circuit right over here. Multi layered ceramic transistors everywhere. So mostly um, just the basic circuit components nothing really advanced then it has the motor it has two motors actually one motor that moves it this way and then the other motor that spins the disc inside so it has two motors but you know just a normal basic components nothing fancy you know transistors capacitors integrated circuits you know the control chips all that and then here's what I was talking about this is the other motor over here and it's run in the connection there's like there's gears in here the way they designed this thing like it's not very easy to break down And you can see, let me see if I can get the face off of this here. If I can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
Okay, I guess it doesn't want to come off. Well, it looks like I'll have to smash this to get it off. Because the clips, the two clips are not working. So, if I take that off, it'll break it. So, I'm not going to rip this apart just for that. Because there's, there's basically nothing else in here. You know, except for the motor. It'll gear on this little, they make a little straight metal piece and make it a gear. It moves up and down. Yeah, it's not not a lot of electronic components. You know, you got your motors, your, I don't know if you guys can see those, your little sprockets and gears. There's one right here, this is the white thing right here, this is the gears that move around. I didn't see the guys, the way they designed this, the body, you have to like pry it out of here to basically get to it. And usually when something goes bad, it's one of these, like the motor gear or the, I didn't even talk about the, the laser right here. This is a laser right here. You guys can see that right here. That scans the disc. But I don't want to break this thing just to see all the sprockets and gears. I'm keeping this for future use. But. Not very complicated system, guys. Plug that back in. Control unit back in here. Back in place. All right, you guys can see Asus on the front, but that's it, guys, for that. Okay, I hope it wasn't helpful. I hope it was helpful. You know, you guys can see what's inside, and you know, see how it works. If you guys ever want to see how the inside of a DVD internal RAM of uh, ROM of a uh, PC looks like. You know, this is the internal DVD player or DVD ROM. This is what they, if you guys never seen one, this is what they look like. Because I know there's still people using them, but a lot of people are not, you know, they're just using software now from the websites and all that but this is what it looks like guys I hope it was helpful informative you know it piques your interest and as always I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video I appreciate it bye bye <laughs>